So YouTube team, keep it clean. If I flip this, will it still be fun? Nope, it wouldn't be. Anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, you already saw the title of the video. And if you're a Ravens fan, I'm sure you heard already by now. Or if you're just a fan of football, I'm sure you already heard by now. But in something that seems to happen to Baltimore every single year, it's no surprise, but it's very, very unfortunate news. Tavon Young, somebody who was an extremely, extremely big bright spot in the defense last year, somebody who we had high hopes for, somebody who was looking great, and he was a rookie. He was a fourth-round draft pick last year. He was a rookie, and the dude was a beast. He was killing it in the slot. There was a string of games where, uh, for a while, he was getting, he was getting, recovering a turnover in every single game. Whether it was an interception, whether it was a uh, fumble recovery, he was always involved in a turnover every single game. Um, the dude was, out of all the rookies we had last year, he was my favorite. He was my favorite rookie on the Ravens last year. And I was like, oh, man, we we got Jimmy Smith. Hopefully, he'll be healthy. We signed Brandon Carr. He's been healthy. We just drafted Marlon, hum Marlon Humphrey. I don't know anything about him because he's a rookie. We got Tavon Young. He was a beast last year. We just signed Tony Jefferson. We had Eric. Well, we got Eric Weddle. We brought back Ladarius Webb. I'm like, oh, man, these Ravens, the secondary, shaping up to be nice. Now... All we got to do is just be healthy, and that's it. But we're not even at training camp, and the injury bug bit us already. Bit us already, and this is sad, sad news. And even though this is sad, sad news, y'all, don't forget to leave a like on the video. There's 20 people in here chilling and commenting, but only six likes. Y'all make sure y'all leave the thumbs up, even though this is bad news. We're not thumbing up that this is bad news. We're just thumbing up the video. But I appreciate y'all a lot, man. But, um... This is, it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate as a Ravens fan and as a football fan. And this is what I, I say it every single year, that this is the worst part about football. This is the worst part about football. Worst part about football is not when your team loses, not when your team has a sucky season, not losing in the Super Bowl. The worst part about football is injuries. Or the, losing in the Super Bowl will probably be up there. But the worst part about football is injuries because every single team from the top to the bottom they have to go through them and Ravens their cornerbacks know more than most about being injured and being hurt um that's that sucks man that sucks really really bad usually with ACLs they can be out the whole year but since it is early it's only June we have June, July, August, September September the regular season starts that's four months people have come back in about six to eight months from the ACL. So it, his season is not necessarily over. It's not over. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. But literally, his season is not over yet. But it possibly could be. It depends on the tear. Um, it just uh, it, it depends on a lot of different things. It, there's a lot of different factors that are involved in the ACL tear. Um, and it sucks that we even have to be talking about this. I, it sucks really, really bad. Um... Poor guy, man. Poor guy. That sucks. And just just think of how we feel as fans that Tavon Young is hurt. Imagine how he feels. If we feel bad for him and we feel bad for the team, blah, 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 he's got to feel 20,000 times worse than that. 20,000 times worse. Because it's actually him who's the NFL player, him who's the pro football player, him that's the Raven, him that's the one that's injured. It's him. It's not us. We we only go through a tiny bit of it just as a fan of the game, a fan of the team, a fan of football. But him, he's not a fan of football. He's an actual football player. He's an actual professional football player. So imagine that an injury took your profession away from you temporarily, not permanently, but that temporarily was a very long time. And it could possibly, possibly be the entire football year. So it sucks, man. Sucks really bad. Sucks really bad. Um, hey, hey, shout out to my boy Junior, man. Junior been rocking for years, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it's tough, man. It, it it sucks. It sucks. There's no other way to say it or call it or whatever, but it sucks, especially as a Ravens fan. 
um, but especially for him too. But what this means, um, the Ravens, I'm sure they're going to be looking for somebody. Uh, wow. He was graded as the number 26 cornerback yeah, by pro football focus. That's pretty high, especially for a rookie, somebody who didn't even start all the games. Um, it sucks, though, man. That's tough. But, yeah, now what it means is what's the saying, and not just in the Ravens organization, but just in football, period, uh, is next man up. Next man up. Um, next man up. That's tough. They did just re-sign Ladarius Webb, so it's possible that he could step into the slot. But just Tavon Young, we knew that he was somebody that was a lot more. He was younger than Ladarius Webb. And he was holding down that slot like no other. Um, he was doing this thing, and he was a rookie. That's the thing. He was a rookie. That's the worst part about this, is that he was a rookie, and he looked so good last year. This dude, it was his very first year in the NFL last year. And um, it was his very first year in the NFL last year, and he already looked like a beast. So he could have only got better. He could have only got better. He wasn't going to have the, the whole Joe Flacco treatment or the whole Joe Flacco spiel where... You, you go from being a rookie and you go year after year and you don't seem to get better. He was actually, he looking like he was going to, he could only have gotten better because he was already a beast. But now uh, this year we might not even know, man. We might not even know. So anyway, um, we'll see what happens, man. I'm, if Ladarius Webb is going to be the guy in the slot, I don't look forward to that. Um, I love Ladarius Webb, and he was coming. He was he was starting to hold his own as a safety. He was improving throughout the year, but having him in the slot, him being older, him being slower, him being sort of injury prone. Not the, him being injury prone. Not even sort of. My fault. Um, I'm not looking forward to that. We were looking young in the secondary. We were looking young, younger, younger than we've ever looked in the past. But actually, young and good. We were actually looking young, and we had depth and. I don't know, man. But anyway, I are they going to sign somebody else? I'm pretty sure they will. I'm pretty sure they will. Um, because, once again, this is why Ozzie Newsom, this is why us as Ravens fans know more than anybody, this is why you have to have depth in the secondary. That's a necessity. You have to have depth in the secondary. If you don't have depth in the secondary, stuff like this happens and you can freak out. And even though um, I'm not freaking out about it, but it sucks, man. Don't faint, man. Don't faint. Don't faint. Um, don't faint. I think the Ravens will still be fine, but we're just missing a little bit of depth now. So now we got to find somebody else to fill in that depth. And now Marlon Humphrey is definitely going to be in that, that top three. He's definitely going to be in that top three. I didn't know where he was going to be at, but um, he said, hold up a second while I jump off my house head first. Uh, this is why Marlon, Marlon Humphrey is going to be playing a lot more than he probably would have before. So I'm sure it's going to be, as of right now, it's going to be Jimmy Smith, Brandon Carr, Marlon Humphrey in the slot. I don't know if he's a good slot cornerback. Y'all can let me know in the comment section if he is or not because I don't know anything about him. Um, but who do we have after that? We had depth at cornerback, man. We had Jimmy Smith, Brandon Carr, Marlon Humphrey, Tavon Young, but now we just got those top three. And I don't even know about Marlon uh, Humphrey. I don't know anything about him. This is his first year. Um, so now where do we go from here? So... That's it. Uh, I wish I had better news for us, for y'all, for everybody about this. Let me know, even though I already know the answer, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, if you think Ravens should be in panic mode, let me know if you think they shouldn't be in panic mode. And, and if you think there's somebody who they should or who they will sign, let me know too, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. And I'm out. I'm going to go ahead and get a haircut now. Y'all make sure y'all leave a like on the video. Let me know what you think about this whole thing, man. That's sad news. I'm out.